Okay, everybody, bear with me. But right now I'm doing the 8G Mitsubishi Galant Outlander uh, intake manifold swap. So as we know, they crack, blah, 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 and you can outdate with Outlander. Part of that is wiring. Uh, most people get really intimidated by wiring. Um, in any case, you have to wire up the uh, throttle position sensors. Uh, it's just an easy wire switch. But I'm going to show you how to actually take the connector apart without destroying the wire. So you can see these wires are cut. You're not going to have to do that. So the first thing is this connector. And note that this is a applicable to any connector that you find in a car but this is specifically for the throttle position sensor in uh, 2000 to 2003 Mitsubishi Galant. So the first part is this little ring here that's around. It's basically preventing you from disconnecting it, just pulling it off of the sensor. First thing you want to do is start here in the middle. Let me see if I can get that to zoom a little bit. Sorry, I'm on my phone. Camera's packed up. Okay. Uh, I almost got it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is that there's two little clips here, tab here and tab here. Still not very clear, sorry about that. But once you get it, once you get it set, all you have to do is pop that out. So to get your small screwdriver, put it right in those grooves right there and pop it out. So I'm going to pop it. Once you pop it out in the middle, it's just easy. It just popped right off. So that was pretty easy. Sorry you didn't get to see it. I had to actually get a look at it. So the next thing is to get this connector off. This is holding the wires in the back on. And if you look real close, you can see on the side where the slot is. And I wish this would zoom. It's like it focuses for two seconds. Thanks, thanks Samsung for that. That's not me. Maybe that's a little better. Okay, so you see these slots, that tells you kind of where it is, and it's on both sides. So it's not a press release, it's a push release. So if you look inside here, we want to push here and here to pop those out. Okay, so we're going to push here, and you can hear it pop. And when you push, put your thumb under it, and you can push one side up. So you can see now one side can come up, and we just keep our thumb there. And then you want to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to try to show you what I did on here. So you can see there, connector is in here. Let's see if you can see that. Uh, it's kind of dark. Connector is in here. Let's see if we can get some flash or something. So connectors in here, you just push under there. So we're going to do that on the other side. Push. I need to look at it, so give me one second. Sorry, it's taking too long. All right, got it. So it's out. You can pull that off. So the next thing is, this is the wiring for the Outlander. Just so you know, um, it's the same except basically for the out when you go to the new one you're going to switch wire so this is actually the way it should be because this is from the outlander side and the gallant has wires here here a plug and a wire here and then you want to switch it to this in any case you have to get this plug out so let's get this plug out what i have is you can take the wire that you took from the connector and straighten it and then push through but I chose to use something else just in case I have to reuse this wire and you might want to do the same if you're working on the car so I have this and I'm gonna just go through the front of the connector because there's nothing there so you can push straight through and push that plug out so let's watch the plug fall out see the plug coming out right there and I'm gonna put it back here so it don't fall on the floor plug out there you go done okay so that's out and the next thing you want to do is you want to get these connectors out and then re and then move them around to where they need to be so to do that on these connectors this is a general connector so you just have to figure out where you have to press down on this on these you actually go when you want to press down and actually what I did was I looked inside of this one to see where it is it's a little notch so if you go into the smaller circle you push back until you can't go anymore and then you tilt the you tilt whatever you have going in there screwdriver up and then you pull on this at the same time and it should come out. So we're going to try to do that. So I push in. 
as far as I can go. And then you shouldn't have to push hard. You just go as far as you can go. And then you push back like that. Now you don't want to push too hard. Just push, maybe keep some, keep your hand on that, push them back. And then you push, pull out. See that? Look at that. There you go. And you have a good connector. Then all you have to do is just slide it back into wherever you need it to go and continue to do the same with the rest. Hope this helps with your Outlander and anything else that you do electronically.